Welcome there Space Cadets to part 2 of my Let's Play Faster Than Light. I'm your pilot, basically Jim, we're piloting the Kestrel at the moment. And true to my words, a bit of information about drones. Uh, we bought the drone control, upgrades, we've got two power slots. And we have the defense drone which requires two power. Um, in order for a drone to function, we need to have a available drone, which sadly we have none of. But the defense drone is useful for shooting our missiles and asteroids, so we have a bit of protection. Well, we have no protection until we get drones, really, but we'll pick some up along the way. Okay, let's uh, press on <clears throat> with our adventure. Hello, communicator open to hell from a nearby ship. Our weapon systems are malfunctioning, and we're too afraid of pirates to travel home unassisted. Can you escort us? Sure we can. Great. Take this bit of down payment. We'll be one step behind you. Follow your jump sig following your jump signatures. Don't want to take a risk now, do we? Ooh, smells a trap to me. We shall see. Wow. I really shouldn't have moved up here. Whoops. That was a bit foolish. You arrive at the next beacon only to immediately be held by a small shuttle. Help us, we are being attacked by pirates. Aid the civilians. Pirate weapons. And we're going to take these guys to school. It's got standard lasers by the looks of it. No, they have nothing. So if you haven't figured out, um, it's pretty obvious. I target different systems to eliminate the threat. So if you target the weapons, the weapons go offline. If you target the shields, the shields go offline. If you target the oxygen, the oxygen goes offline. It's pretty much what you'd expect. Hasten to contact the civilian ship. You respond, it's a good thing you came when you did. You'd be dead now otherwise. I'm a shipwright and I'd like to help you like you helped me. Captain offers to install a piece of equipment on your ship. 15 scrap and a small bomb. Wonderful. Okay, small bomb is probably a little bit better than the Atremus missile that we had. Uh, it takes a little bit longer to charge, but... Because it's self teleporting, it can't be shot down by a defense drone. Um, yeah. More powerful against uh, personnel damage. Personnel damage is higher as well. So. Also, you can target your own ship, but I've never found a use for doing such an insane thing as putting a bomb in your own ship. I guess if you uh, upgraded all your doors and sealed some enemy invaders in a systemless room. So once you research specials trying to fend off a Manta ship, you move into a gauge, but after a quick scan of your ship, the Manta ship retreats. The energy offer you a drone schematic as thanks for the, your timely arrival. Oh my god, this is going to be an amazing run. Okay, this, this drone, it costs 100 scrap. As you, can, <clears throat> as you can read, it automatically repairs 3 to 5 damage for your hull. Um, yeah, so we never have to repair our ship again. We need our drone parts, which we will pick up later, I hope. So we arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Hmm, let's look for some survivors. All around you a stench of death indicates. Suddenly one of your crew bends over and starts retching violently. Some sort of disease must be must have wiped out the station. You pull back to the ship and looks like your crew member is not gonna make it. Oh no. No, it's just Brian and Grozzly. That's not good. Space is cruel. It's very cruel when it needs to be. Oh yeah, sure, brilliant. We got ourselves a hull repair and a scrap recovery arm and small bombs. Okay, one of our crew just died via space disease. 
That's not good. Uh, let's talk to the right people. <clears throat> right people have a particularly aggressive stance towards alien races trespassing in their space. You should trick carefully here. Okay. There's our quest marker. But what we're going to do before we continue is upgrade our sensors and our doors. Subsystems do not require reactor power, which is brilliant. Um, sensors are useful, especially when dealing with rock people, because uh, you can get some interesting uh, additional comments if you've got good sensors. Unusual solar activity in this region means you need to get out quick. The rock power ship apparently thinks otherwise as they move to attack your ship. Okay, we'll take these guys out and I'll end part two here, guys. If it cuts out, sorry. But we're trying to get these guys done ASAP. Here comes the solar flare. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, so that was done. Pilot, you get back to piloting. Having your oxygen tank go out can be very fatal. So what we're going to do is jump before another solar flare hits. And hopefully it will be repaired. You see a message meant to degrade you as aliens. You are expecting an attack, but it seems to have come from a small civilian shuttle. Okay. Right. Whew. Okay, we're going to end it there, guys. And I'll see you in part three of our Let's Play of Faster Than Light. I've been basically Jim. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys in part three.